Hey, I'm Colin Murray from Motion Training Center. This is Myra Godet. Uh, today we're looking at a basic Toriando pass. So, one of the first mistakes a lot of people make with this pass is, is when they're initially coming in. One, they'll stand with their feet square like this, and they'll just bend over right here, right? So a couple big problems with that. Problem number one is if you're doing this for MMA, whenever you're bent over like that, up kicks are gonna come and wreck you, right? Uh, even if you're not doing it for MMA, um, if you're doing it just for grappling, when I'm down like this, my posture's broken. So if we're doing gi, he's gonna grab my lapel and pull me down. But even not doing gi, he can sit up, take my head, you know, and start, he can start messing with me, with me there, you know? Uh, third problem with being in that position is that my hips are really far away from my room. Whenever I'm trying to pass someone's guard, it's not about my chest getting past them, it's about my, my hips getting past. Right? When I start this far away, if I try and get around my arm like this, he, 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 just, he just follows me. Right? Even if I happen to be strong enough and fast enough where I can keep him in place and get my hips all the way to the side here, like, his knees are going to come in. He's going to beat me in that race every single time. So I don't want to start in like that. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to step in between his guard with my lead foot. Right? Step right in the middle. So, when I step in the middle, it's taking this, this leg out of the picture, right? I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be squared up here and be really close. Because now his feet are going to hook me. He's got, he's got things he can do from here, right? So I step up and I'm going to stand in this little surfer stance, right? When I'm standing in the surfer stance, my feet are shoulder width apart. And then they're going to be about shoulder width in front of each other, right? I'm not, like, super far out like this, right? I always want to be, whenever I'm moving and grappling, I always generally want this shoulder with apart stance, right? That way, I maintain my balance no matter where I go. It's the same thing as like if I'm striking. If I'm striking, my feet are always as far apart. Whenever I'm pivoting, whenever I'm shuffling, if one foot moves, the other foot's going to follow that exact same distance. It's the same concept grappling. That way, I always have my balance. So, I get this foot forward, my feet are shoulder with apart, shoulder with apart, going forward and backward too. And I'm stepping this foot up as really, really, really close to my arm, right? That way, I'm going to be nice and close. And when I come down to uh, control his legs, I'm not bending over at my waist like this, so, I, so, you know, so I'm eating those up kicks. I'm going to squat. Now I'm squatting down, I'm making little V's with my hands, I'm just putting a little bit of pressure on my arm's shins right here. Right? This is the next thing that people have trouble with. They'll, they'll get here and they'll start trying to throw people's legs around. Right? Uh, I don't like throwing people's legs around. One, if he's bigger and stronger than me, it's my arms versus his legs. I'm not going to win that battle. Uh, the other problem with it is that, let's say I can get him moving, I'm then giving him momentum. Momentum is a tool that he gets to use. I never want to give him any tools that he didn't already have. If I can take Myron and swing him, I've seen times where someone's trying to pass guard, they'll throw the guy, and the guy will make a full 360 because they swung him so hard. You know, they'll, he'll come all the way around, yeah, and he'll, he'll come up, he'll be snatched, he'll be able to, you know, you know, spin all the way back around and recover guard, right? So I don't want him moving. I want him to stay exactly where he's at, and I'm just going to move around him, right? That's another good rule of thumb. It's always going to be easier to move yourself than it is to move your opponent. Right? So I don't want to move him. I'm just going to come here, and then I'm going to move. Right? So the way the footwork is going to work, a lot of people will be in here, and they'll move this inside leg first. Right? This is another thing I'm not a big fan of. Whenever I move that inside leg first, my feet are going to switch from being on this, uh, in my good balance position, to being in this little straight line right here. Right? It's like I'm walking on a tightrope. I don't want to be walking on a tightrope. I have no balance there. The other problem with that is that when I'm on this tightrope, it's hard for me to move sideways. The his first reaction when I get this foot here is to shrimp. So he shrimps, I can't follow that. Right? I'm not stuck on this tightrope position, I'm going to have to adjust. By the time I adjust his knees in there, right, I lost my pass. So instead of moving this inside leg first, I'm going to move my outside leg first. Right? I'm going to come up here. Right? So I'm in my shoulder width position, I'm basically just going to switch my feet. Right? So I'm still in that shoulder width position, because now this leg's forward. It ends up stepping up about a foot and a half away from Myron's chest, right? So I'm all the way past his hip. So I'm stepping in, controlling here, this steps up here. Now this leg will move. It comes in and I'm gluing my shin to Myron's hip right here. Now Myron can shrimp, and if he shrimps, I'm in a position where I can push off this back foot and move forward. Whereas when I was here, if he shrimps, I can't move back that direction very easily, right? I've kept my balance with every single move I made and I can you know, move in any direction very, very easily. So I'm in here, taking a step. This leg comes around and glues. All right? So the next big problem people have is they try and drop straight into knee on belly. If you notice, I came in here and I glued my shin to my arm, right? I didn't come here and try and drop straight down. Right? A couple of problems happen when we try and drop straight down. One is that balance issue. Right? If I'm 
coming in here really quick, just coming here and trying to drop down, I lose my balance in that process. Two, we can almost guarantee that he's going to shrimp. If I try and come straight to me on belly, he shrimps, boom, my knee hits the ground, I miss my pass. When I glue my shin to Myron, he can start moving and I can make sure I'm staying glued to him and then drop down to me on belly whenever I feel like it, whenever I'm ready to drop down. And I don't need to do it on his terms. The other cool thing about doing it this way is that this isn't the only leg I need to worry about. Once I get past here, uh, a very common reaction for people is to take this leg to bring it over the top and scoop our hip like this, right? When we come straight down to the on belly, we make a pocket right here. When this foot comes here and hooks in that pocket, like this, right, it, it, I can't keep him here. He's going to be able to shove me, he's going to be able to keep me off balance, he's going to knock me over. Bad things happen there. I mean, even my best case scenario is he got this foot in here and I just back away, but now he's got back to guard. So, coming in this way, when I'm chilling out here, when this foot comes in, I'm going to bring my hips forward. Now there's no pocket, right? Notice I'm bent over, this hook's in here. He can push on that pocket, he can, you know, he's, gonna, he's, he's got things he can do. When my hip comes forward, he's got nothing to, to leverage his foot on, and I can just brush it past. Now I can come back down to a much more solid position. So the whole thing again, right, we're in here, I don't want to get up kicked or anything, so I'm getting really close, my chin's up, I'll squat down. Now I have control here, I can start looking at what I'm doing, but even then, I still don't even need to look at Myron. My posture, my head being up, is just, you know, generally a better place for me to be. So if down here, my posture's up, my feet are in that shoulder width position we were talking about, this foot steps up, maintain that shoulder width position, this foot comes around, still maintain that shoulder width position, right? Now I'll start dropping that knee on belly. This foot starts coming in, hips forward, get that foot out the way, then I'll come down, maintain my control. I'm Colin from Mushin MMA. Thanks a lot for watching.